hi guys welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is jennifer Ngomalo. i do hope that you join us by clicking that red subscribe button on the bottom and also don't forget to smash that like button because it does help with the youtube algorithm and also don't forget to engage on the comment section letting me know your thoughts especially on the topic that we are going to be talking about today and the thing that we are going to be talking about today is how do you get better with savings the first things first before we get into into the content of this video i just wanted to say please do not mind the raskiness in my voice I came down with flu during the weekend and so when I'm filming this I'm feeling much better but the voice is still you know there so please do not mind that and so let's get into the topic of today so as I said today we are talking about how can you get better with savings so some of the comments that I get from you guys is just on how you guys appreciate the way that I'm consistent with my savings and I really appreciate that you guys I appreciate your feedback and also some of the comments I get is you guys are struggling some of you guys are struggling with being consistent with savings you find that you start saving but then you go back to use that money so on today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys the things that have helped me to be consistent and to continue saving so the first thing that we need to just get to the bottom of is saving is not a goal saving as much as I say i want to save this much that is a goal me saying i want to save this much that is a goal something to work towards but saving as it's as its own is not a goal it's a habit just like when you wake up in the morning you wake up and you go you brush your teeth there is a habit there's a habit that you cultivated from a very young age that when you wake up in the morning first thing you brush your teeth or before you leave the house you brush your teeth just like making your bed for those who do make their beds <laughs> Just like making the bed you do make your bed first thing in the morning before you leave the house you wake up and you make your bed and so saving is very similar to that it is a habit that you need to cultivate something that you need to do consistently until it becomes second nature to you it is not a goal it is a habit to be cultivated and now how do you then cultivate the habit of saving let us get into those points so the first thing is you need to determine what are you saving towards why do you want to save as i made the example on the previous point talking about our dental hygiene that when you wake up in the morning or before you leave the house you make sure that your teeth are brushed the reason why we do that is because we want to maintain healthy good looking teeth we want to maintain our good dental hygiene that is the goal but you brushing the teeth is a habit that helps you to get to the goal the same thing with saving as well saving it is a habit but then you work towards a goal and so you need to choose a goal as to why are you saving you don't just want to start saving and say i'm saving because it's what everyone tells me to do. It's what we guys tell you to do. It's what I tell you guys to do that you need to save. But if you have noticed the way that I approach saving on my monthly reset, I always have a goal. I don't just save for the sake of saving because when I save for the sake of saving, I do not get anywhere. I do not progress anywhere. And so it's very important that you need to identify what is the goal? What do you want to save towards? So it can be either that you want to save towards your emergency fund, you want to save towards renovation, renovating your home, Home, you want to save towards travel you want to save uh, towards leisure you want to save towards anything but it needs to have a specific goal without it having a specific goal it's going to be hard for you to continue being consistent for most people the habit of brushing their teeth they cannot be consistent with it because they do not understand what is the point of brushing their teeth that's something that they are not taught about from the young age now for many of us that we're taught we're taught that brushing your teeth is very good in order for you to maintain good healthy teeth and now if you do not know that goal it becomes hard for you to continue being consistent because you're just like what's the point and so you end up with plug on your teeth and all that other stuff so even though i'm not a, i'm not i'm not a dentist but i'm just trying to make an example here you will disregard saving or you will fall in and out of it you get into it stop it get into it and stop it if you are not clear as to why are you doing it and your why must be very strong now moving to the next point you need to then figure out where are you going to be keeping this money now as much as we now understand that okay you want to cultivate this habit of saving you want to start being you know consistent when it comes to saving and then now you understand what you're going what you're going to be saving towards as i said your why needs to be very very strong and so the next thing here is to figure out where are you go are you going to keep this money now i know that you can keep this money with your bank but i would say that do not keep your savings in your transactional account as much as you say that you're saving and you keep that money in your transactional account you might as well count that as just a place to park your money it is not savings whatsoever because 
that is too easily accessible you don't want your savings to be in your same transactional account so if let's say you decide to go the route of actually saving with your bank you need it needs to be out of your of, of your transactional account so i do know that with my bank which is capitec you can have multiple savings accounts within one account where you can then save your money and in there when you open it you can say that i want to make it a seven a seven day notice or 32 day notice and they'll give you a little bit tiny tiny bit of interest there but it is still saving so that is the first option the second option that we do have which is amazing 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 it is a time bank time bank is a digital bank or it's an online bank now what i love about time bank is that you can create multiple goals up to 10 goals and also another thing that they've re recently introduced is fixed deposit now i recently took a big chunk of my of my money from time bank and i fixed it for six months and because i fixed it for six months i qualified for interest of 11 percent. 11 percent is amazing you guys you will not get that in any traditional bank in this country and so i am currently saving for i'm i currently fixed that money for six months and at, at a rate of 11 percent the reason why I did that, I found that as I was having all of these goals, because it was easily accessible, I ended up use I would use the money. And so to try and refrain myself, I took portion of that and I fixed it. And so Time Bank is another option that you can use amazing products that they have when it comes to savings and then the last one which i also love 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 and i've made multiple videos about it is frank group and frank group is basically a savings and investment platform now i call it a savings and investment platform because depending on how you structure your account you can have you 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 actually get both you can you have your money market and then you have your 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 Citrix top 40. Citrix top 40 is more for investment and then the money market is more so for savings name right? and so mine is structured in a way that it's more on money markets and less on equities and the reason why is because i've just learned i've i've, I've tried to invest many times to know that there's no such thing as making quick money or quick returns and so i have stopped gambling with my money what i do is i put it away and let it just grow in peace slowly and i know that the value of compound interest interest is, is eventually going to count and also what i love about time bank and also frank group is that you can really see the interest that you are getting the last one that i did not mention which i need to mention is stock files now stock files are a great way of savings now stock files they are more so for short term because normally you find that it's either money that is exchanging hands but that is not a good way of saving actually when you are doing don't even call it savings it's not because if you are saying it's money that is exchanging hands probably by the time it gets to you you're gonna spend all of that and maybe it gets to you within three months and so that is just like no i can say that okay at least 12 months of saving for the entire year and not saving in a way that this is money you're gonna go and buy groceries with it every year no but you want it to be in a way that you know that okay from this money you're going to take a large sum of it and you're gonna put it towards your other savings so that you can just increase the value of your other savings and so stock files are one of the great ways that you can go about saving your money but just make sure that you're very careful when it comes to choosing the right stock file to put your money in so those are the four places that you can keep your money and then the fifth thing that you need to do is you need to minimize your debt i cannot talk about savings and not talk about debt and the reason why is because i know that many of us we struggle to save or we struggle to be consistent with saving because we are drowning in debt yes you can do both of them at the same time you can have debt while you're saving so same thing as me i've got my house i've got my home loan i've got my mtn i also have got the it's it's, it's calculated under my debt insurance I also have in NSFAS all of those things are dead but I also am able to save but I'm able to save this much just because I do not have debts that cost me the most when I say debts that cost me the most I'm talking about your I'm talking about your what are these personal loans and credit cards those are very expensive debts now I've dealt with those debts and because I've dealt with those debts it has allowed me to be able to save more so my suggestion here is minimize your debts as much as possible especially these debts that will cost you the most in terms of interest rates those are the ones that you want to deal with now let's get to the things that have helped me to just stay consistent and continue to accumulate the savings even when i would tap into them i still continue and also just wanted to say for people that say that 
they save money and then they find themselves going back into their savings please know that know this there is nothing wrong with you tapping into your savings the whole point of savings is to be able to help you is for the whole point of saving is so that that money is able to help you in, in instances whereby you need help financially without you having to go Borrow, borrow from Osman Bani or having to go and borrow from the bank. You want to be able to have savings to tap into. And so there's absolutely nothing wrong with tapping into your savings. There is a whole point of having savings. And so do not beat yourself over for tapping into your savings and using the savings that you have put out, put, put aside. Please do not beat yourself over that. That is what they are for. Ne? However, with me as well, as much as I do tap into my savings, what helps me to continue accumulating my savings because of two things. So the first thing is I have an easily accessible, I have easily accessible savings. And the second one is I have non easily accessible savings. So the ones that are just not easy to access. And then I have ones that are easy to, to access. So I would say that if you want to be consistent when it comes to saving and continue to con continue to save, even when you do tap into your money, you don't get discouraged have two different types of savings the ones that you can easily access and the ones that you cannot access easily the ones that you cannot easily access are the ones that will allow you to continue to be committed and continue to save even when you tap into the ones that are easily accessible the ones that are easily accessible are the ones that you're going to continue ta tapping into when you need money but these ones the ones that are not easily accessible these are the ones that you have to leave for a long term so that is what has been helping me. So with Time Bank, I keep large majority of money that I know that I'm going to need to tap into. Money that I know that I will I'm not going to be keeping for the like for 12 months, but I just need it to be there just in case I do need money. But while it's sitting there, I want it to gain interest. And so that is where I keep my easily accessible money. Stock falls are for me fixed savings whereby I'm keeping money that I know that I do not want to easily access because the type of stock fall that I'm in has strict rules in terms of you cannot just withdraw your money anytime you get it with everyone else end of beginning of the year and so I like that so that is one of my places that I keep my my non is my non is the accessible savings and the other part the other one is Frank group friend group also is my non easily accessible savings and investment savings but you can access it it's just that when you do access it they will charge you a fee if let's say you have withdrawn three, more than three times and also if you want it immediately they will charge you about i think it's about 30 rents not 30 rents on each hundred rents just 30 rents and so that is that is where i also keep my non easily accessible savings so you want to make sure that you split your money because this then helps you that as things come up there is money that you can tap into but you don't tap into all of your money you tap into a portion of your money knowing that the other one is staying there accumulating interest for you and are also helping when it comes to compound interest because the ones that you keep tapping into back and forth you just you might as well forget about compound interest you know but it's the ones that you do not tap into that are very good when it comes to compound interest so that is what I do when it comes to my savings just to make sure that I'm consistent so my emergency fund my child's future education fund those things I don't touch them I also have some money on easy equities it's just that I don't count it because it's so small I think it's around when I add with properties it's around 2000 something you know so I don't normally count that because I just feel like it's so small but even there it's not money that I just take out in and out I used to be like that when I had lots of debt and I was trying to invest without having any savings and i was trying to invest on easy equities and i'll put in money there and then i would withdraw it which is a waste of time and you you tend to lose money when you do that so also just a point here do not rush to investing before you have savings build up savings first before you can get into saving into investing because if you try to just go into investing, investing is for long term. Savings, it can be for short, medium and long term. But you need to make sure that you've built up a nest egg nyana for savings before you can tap into things like shares and all that stuff. Because if you do that, you are just shooting yourself on the foot. Don't do that. Don't do that. And this is coming from someone who has, done, who has once did that. Like did that and lost money. Don't do that.
and then the last thing that you want to do is on those two options that i was talking about that you need to have your easily accessible and non easily accessible what i would then say is every month when you are putting money away in terms of savings split it don't put money into, into just one place don't just say okay i'm just gonna find this one that is easily accessible split it you know so let's say for instance you want to save it you save a thousand rand per month don't just put the entire thousand rand on the easily accessible savings rather split it so you say 500 rands will go towards the fixed one where it's for long term or towards this big goal and then the other one is going to go towards this other goal but then for the easily accessible one just to make sure that you've got monies on both sides there's money that is accumulating interest and that is growing in value but then there's also money that is gaining you some sort of interest but then the nice thing is it is easily accessible this will help you to avoid your, to avoid getting into debt willy nilly because you will have this money to tap into so those are the things that i wanted to talk to you guys about when it comes to just how can you get better with saving how can you improve when it comes to saving and just make sure that you're consistent it's not magic you guys but have, however as i said in the beginning it is a habit that you need to cultivate and so with that being said i'm going to close off this video i do hope that you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one please take care and stay safe. Bye.